Good morning my dear students today we are going to start physical and chemical changes this is your part 5 in this lecture we'll talk about sublimation this is your very important topic for your exam and please try to understand what do you mean by sublimation the changing of solid directly into vapor on heating without going through liquid state is called sublimation yes my dear student suppose i'll give you solid substance and when you will heat it what will happen it will directly change into the gas it will not going through the liquid actually uh, most of the solid when you will heat it what will happen simply solid solid will change into liquid and liquid then on heating it will change into gas like ice i'll give you ice and i'll say that just heat the ice what will happen ice will change into the liquid and further heating it will change into the gas but in the case of sublimation solid directly change into the gas that is called sublimation so here you can see that in a spoon it is a dry ice dry is what dry ice is the you can see in a spoon dry ice is there dry ice on heating what will happen it will directly change into the gas without going in the liquid state and this is the examples of sublimation sublimation is a process in which solid directly change into the gas without going into the liquid state here you can see very clear the best example of sublimation is dry ice it is given the sublimation it is a dry ice which is on frozen of carbon dioxide actually dry ice is used to clean lots of electronic gadget because on heating it will directly change into the gas it will not leave any moisture in the circuit even dry ice is used in a stage program for making fog so you can see that dry ice which is frozen form of carbon dioxide means when carbon dioxide is compressed at lower temperature it will change it into the dry ice and then it exposed to when dry ice get exposed to air dry ice directly change into its phase from solid state to gaseous state and which is a uh, visible as a fog yes my dear student you can see in the case of figure 1 when you expose the dry ice it will change into the gas and you can see fog like structure that is example of sublimation here the solid substance which undergoes sublimation called sublimine yes my dear student the substance which shows the sublimation process that is called sublimine substance here some examples are given camphor camphor is uh, uh, is used for the puja you can see it is a camp camphor naphthalin ball naphthalin ball is used to keep inside your uh, fold of your cloth which prevent from the uh, germs and many insect even it is used in toilet you can see images are there ammonium chloride i'll show you what uh, uh, the ammonium chloride and its uses when it school will open iodine is also a example of sublimine substances and what is a sublimine substances the sublimine substances are those substances which directly change into the gas state on heating means solid will directly change into the gas state dry ice 
these are the example of sublimine substances so it is very clear what is a subli what are the sublimine substances now next here the figure is given you can see very clear by the figure it is clear solid directly change into the gas solid directly change into the gas on heating that is called sublimation the solid obtained by cooling the vapor of the solid is called sublimate and here when gas is cooled down gas is cooled down directly change into the solid means when solid will heated it will directly change into the gas and on cooling gas will change into the solid state and whatever we get the solid form that is called sublimate what is sublimate suppose dry ice suppose camphor on heating it will change into the gas and that gas when it is cool down it will directly change into the solid camphor that is called sublimate so what is a sublimation what is a sublimine substances and what is a sublimate please be specific about that and here already we have discussed about the evaporation liquefaction we'll talk about later here we have to talk about only sublimation they no need to know about the condens condensation already we have discussed but liquefaction we don't need to understand and fusion about these particular topic we'll discuss in the next lecture next next lecture here activity i'm going to show sublimation process here image you can see that this is a funnel this is a glass funnel it is kept upside down and here is a one pot is there that is called china dish and china dish one thing is kept sublimine substances what is the name of sublimine substances ammonium chloride ammonium chloride and once we burn the burner what happen after getting heated ammonium chloride it is start changing into the vapor and vapor will collect goes upside and then it will collected at the bulge of the cotton here cotton is there cotton is kept in one point of the one hole of the funnel because because of cooler region actually here is a hotter region because it is a contact with the burner and here is a cooler region so once uh, ammonium chloride get heated it goes up, it will goes it will arises upside and then it will condensate condensate means it will cool down and then it will change into the solid state and again we can collect the in other pot and which can shows the sublimation process so here we can see that ammonium chloride is a sublimine substances and this is a burner this is a funnel this is a china dish and this is a ammonium chloride so by this activity we can show that the process of sublimation one more example i'm going to show you changes involve energy yes my dear student in our surrounding changes are happening there are lots of changes so some changes absorb energy some changes release energy so here whenever any physical and chemical changes takes place energy is involved either either it is absorbed either the energy is absorbed or release yes my dear student in a chemical and physical changes there are two possibilities either energy will absorb or energy will release so what is the exact meaning of the changes in which energy is release here you can see that exothermic reaction what is the exothermic reaction the reaction in which 
energy is released the reaction in which energy is released in the form of light and heat the reaction in which energy is released in the form of light and heat you can see burning of matches stick in this case you will get both light you will get light as well as you will get heat that's why it is an example of exothermic reaction burning of candle burning of cooking stove burning of firewood and then here one more example is the formation of snow formation of snow how uh, snow will form when water release energy then it will get cool down and it will change into the solid form so these are the example of exothermic reactions so it may be asked in your examination what do you mean by exothermic reaction simply you will write the reaction in which energy is released that is called exothermic reactions and here examples are given burning of matches stick burning of candle burning of firewood uh, formation of snow burning of stove these are the examples of exothermic reactions please note down in your copy these are the examples are given next example endothermic this just it is the opposite of exothermic reaction what is endothermic the process that absorb heat from its surrounding is called endothermic process means the changes the process in which energy is absorbed here you can see the examples are given photosynthesis plant make their food only in the presence of sunlight and how it is possible by taking the heat from the sunlight so here you can see that plant get energy from the sun in the form of light and heat therefore it is example of endothermic process even melting of ice ice is a 0 degree celsius it's the melting point is a 0 degree celsius also the freezing point and when ice melt means what it absorbing the heat from the surrounding then it will start melting so this is also examples of endothermic process here examples are given evaporation means changing the water into the vapor the so when water will change into the vapor when it will get energy from the surrounding then it will get evaporated so this is the example of endothermic process so my dear student we have discussed endothermic process and exothermic process what is that and please note down in your copy here i am going to show you one activity through which we will understand that it is a exothermic process it is given in your book also to prove exothermic reactions here apparatus what will you take 100 ml beaker beaker is there 100 ml beaker is there chemical what will take chemical quick lime quick lime means what just you can see the chuna which is used to make white wash of your houses that is called quick lime and then water and you can see that during the deepavali and chhat when we are going to get our house white wash so you can see that labor used to keep some uh, lime in the water then you can see that the water is start boiling means water start giving the heat why it is happening because lime react with calcium oxide react with the water and it is start giving heat that is example of exothermic process precaution reaction will be very very fast means it will happen within a small interval of time it takes care and also in this reaction heat is released out procedure take the take 1 g of calcium oxide actually it is given formula is that cao calcium oxide already we have discussed in a previous class 6 7 class 6 class so, sorry we have discussed in 6th class how to write the formula so here you will write simply here written cao actually the formula will be cao 
calcium oxide chemical is that take the 1 gram of calcium oxide in beaker and 100 ml water and touch the beaker with your finger touch after the putting in that touch what will you observe the beaker is hot when you will add the lime calcium oxide in beaker you can see that you can feel that it become hot means result you can say that it is a exothermic reaction why because in the exothermic reaction energy is released in the form of heat and light and what is the reaction between that cao this is the formula of calcium oxide react with water what is form calcium hydroxide ca oh whole twice calcium hydroxide and heat is produced so means it is a very clear from the activity cao means calcium oxide react with water it give energy means it is a exothermic reaction so my dear student we have discussed what is the exothermic process what is the endothermic process and also we have discussed about the sublimation means changing the solid into the gas directly on heating without going through the liquid state that is called sublimations so in next lecture we'll talk about the separation of substances also we'll talk about the mixture till then thank you and have a nice day